The Bolshe state government said on Friday that nine new cases of coronavirus COVID-19 has been recorded, bringing the number of positive cases in the state to 38. Dr. Aliyu Magoro, Bochi State Commissioner for Health, revealed the results were sent Thursday night by the Nigeria Center for Disease Control, Abuja. According to him, 87 out of the 90 returnees from Rivers and Enugu states isolated at Destiny Hotel had been discharged, while three of them tested positive for COVID-19. The number of coronavirus cases in Nigeria has reached 1,932, as 204 new cases were recorded in some states of the Federation. The Nigeria Center for Disease Control, NCDC, also confirmed seven new deaths, bringing the total number of deaths to 58. The NCDC on its confirmed Twitter handle late on Thursday said that the new infections were recorded as follows, 80 in Kano, 45 in Lagos, 12 in Gombe. Nine each were recorded in Bochi and Sokoto, as well as seven each in Bornu and Edo states. Others were six each in Rivers and Ogun, four each in FCT, Aquaribum and Bialsa state, three in Kaduna, two each in Delta and Nasrawa state, as well as one each in Ondo and Kebi states. We're joined by Dr. John Boila, a medical practitioner, to look at all the latest development as regards COVID-19. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Now, the federal government has asked workers and businesses to resume on Monday, and there are concerns if this will not lead to communal transmission of COVID-19. What do you think? Um, yes, it's something that will likely happen. We may have some increase in the level of uh, community transmission. However, uh, the point that we have reached uh, uh, in any case, at some level, they will have to ease down the lockdown and then assess it again and probably uh, impose some uh, further uh, measures, probably uh, tightening it again, go back to lockdown and then ease it. It's something that will probably have to be coming up on, on and on. The instruction stipulated in the guideline is for the compulsory use of face mask. But this has also given room uh, for abuses where you see all kinds of face masks, uh, mask rather. Um, how medically viable are these locally made face masks? Um, the locally made face mask cannot be used uh, in hospitals, that's for sure. Now, it's definitely going to be something helpful for public use. But uh, lots of people are not using this mask appropriately, and we don't have any record to show that they are actually effective. And even the production going on, there is no any set standard. So everybody is just showing it to their own uh, choice and self-taught on how they want to sew this mask. I see people putting it on upside down, even after seeing the shape of the nose, how to take it off. People are touching it frequently. And, and these are um, signs that it might end up not being effective if people are using it in public places, if people are using it at uh, maybe in the supermarket and market area. It's likely that they will put on one mask for hours. Uh, so I, I think there should be a lot of sensitization on how to use this uh, mask. All right. Um, it, it seems starting Monday, everyone would have to be a responsibility, personal responsibility for their own safety against COVID-19. Do you see this being effective? Uh, come back with that, please. I'm asking about the responsibility of individuals uh, for their personal um, safety when it comes to um, avoiding getting infected by COVID-19. The question is, do you think this move, people taking responsibility, will be effective enough to help us stop the spread of this virus? Uh, this is uh, personal commitment is one measure. People need to be disciplined. Uh, because it is obvious that uh, with all the set uh, rules and regulations, including the first lockdown, we didn't achieve much. People were moving, people were going against the measures. 
the enforcement agencies were not enforcing those rules. They were allowing people to travel out of states and into other states. Uh, so definitely we need this element of self-commitment. People need to understand and take personal measures, try to um, take extra length to protect themselves and others. For instance, if you are selling stuff and you see people coming in without masks, you probably have to stop them. And then if you walk into a supermarket or somewhere to buy food and you see the person selling, he's not putting on face masks or doesn't have any um, like equipment kept in place for hand sanitizing or washing of hands, you probably need to step back and go to another center. All right, before I let you go, I want to take your thought. Um, the suggestion, um, allusion to the fact that the NCDC is considering um, doing home isolation because the number of isolation spaces, the beds are becoming uh, inadequate. Um, what's your take on the feasibility of this suggestion? Uh, this is what happened in other countries, and we definitely, we've said, I've said this earlier, that uh, it's likely going to happen. So we are at this stage. Once the centers are filled up, they will have to start monitoring people from their homes. And then if the case gets bad, then they're pulling those people with uh, complications to hospitals. That's the only thing they can do. Because the bed, the, the, the bed space are not enough, and we have an increasing numbers, especially now that they have probably secured some more reagent, you will see the number is coming up because they are testing some uh, samples that they've collected earlier and kept them in storage. All right, doctor, thank you very much for your thoughts and the news. Thank you for having me.